This is Witch Space News for Friday the 26th of November 2021 I'm Commander Burr. In a bumper Elite Dangerous news this week We've the very latest update from Frontier on what to expect with update 9, the new SRV, fleet carrier interiors and beyond. There's a video interview with David Braben about the original Elite. We have news of a joint carrier funding venture between the DSSA and the Fleet Carrier Owners Club. Operation Ida planned to repair a station in one day and much more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. My thanks to Ed from the Fleet Carrier Owners Club who sent word this week that the club's community driven Cash for Carriers program has this week donated 1 billion credits toward the funding of a DSSA carrier. If you're unaware the DSSA or Deep Space Support Array is a community created network of galaxy spanning fleet carriers that remain in a permanent anchorage point providing a stopover for weary travellers in deep space. DSSA carrier number 134 otherwise known as the carrier DSSA Seeker of Dreams is scheduled to leave for its anchorage point some 35,000 light years away from the bubble on Saturday the 27th of November as part of Operation Eyes in the Dark under the control of Commander Lawrence R. The carrier and its deployment have been in part funded by the Fleet Carrier Owners Club as part of a new joint working arrangement with the Fleetcom community and the DSSA council. The Fleet Carrier Owners Club Cash for Carriers program aids in the funding of the colossal mobile starports for its community members via generous in-game community donations. The new venture with the DSSA Council and Fleetcom will see current or retiring DSSA carrier owners applying for funding via the DSSA Council. You'll find links in the video description to Fleetcom and the Fleet Carrier Owners Club as well as to a map of all the DSSA carriers and everything else I've talked about here. And on the subject of community minded efforts Commander Crispy Tater Tot and Commander Grey C from the galaxy's premier station repair specialists Operation Ida both reminded me this week that Operation Ida's annual station repair frenzy the holiday haul will be kicking off again in December with multiple events, competitions and prizes all topped off with a community mass hauling event to repair a Thargoid damaged station in 20 4 hours or less. The whole holiday haul event occurs whilst simultaneously raising money for charity. This year the recipient charity being the organisers of international humanitarian medical aid Doctors Without Borders. To get yourself involved you'll find links in the video description to the Operation Ida Holiday Haul website. Alternatively if you'd like to vicariously watch the events of the Holiday Haul yourself you'll find a link to Commander Crispy Tater Tot who will be streaming at least some of the happenings to your face on Twitch. The efforts of Operation Ida are heavily supported by fleet carriers and are completely platform agnostic so it won't matter if you're playing on console or PC, Elite Dangerous Horizons or Elite Dangerous Odyssey you'll still be able to participate. The hauling starts on December the 3rd and runs all the way to the 1st of January next year. Commander Mitochondria you may remember from the news a couple of weeks back with her map of the Colonia Highway has been furiously mapping for the good of humanity again with another release this week. The new map from Mitochondria is this time billed as a near bubble exploration adventure taking in remote outposts, asteroid bases and sites of significant lore. In particular the map gives a great perspective on the current ongoing Thargoid incursions and where both they and Guardian Space sit in relation to the bubble. Well worth checking out. As always you'll find it linked in the video description. Heralded by a Galnet article this week Frontier added a new set of what they're calling gatekeeper megaships into the game this week. 
The mega ships are all positioned near to permit locked systems and feature mission givers associated with the permits required to access those systems. The network of ships has been deployed as a preventative measure to avoid the problem recently suffered by the Peregrina system where effects from the background simulation caused by player activity caused the permit to be unobtainable. Megaships are immune to such effects and therefore permit access will always be obtainable. I've linked to a forum thread below that is tracking the megaships and listing where you can obtain the required permits. Just a quick heads up this video is going live on Black Friday and Frontier have just gone live with a Black Friday sale of their own. From now through to December the 3rd they're offering 50% off selected ship kits and 25% off of suit customisations. As is the tradition the rare midnight black ship paint jobs have also gone on sale so if there was one you've been hankering after all year don't miss your chance. With all the Elite Dangerous accounts we have active in the burr pit we'll likely need a second mortgage to get through this weekend. Games Radar held their Golden Joystick Gaming Awards this week. Before the video stream event kicked off there was a half hour documentary about the past 50 years of video game history. The fascinating documentary featured interviews with a fair few historic industry luminaries such as John Romero and David Braben. The documentary features an entire section in fact in which David talks about the making of the original Elite and how it was created and then ported across its various platforms. If you've never seen the original Elite in action ...it is after all nearly 40 years old now ...then do take a look and be sure to marvel at the black and white 3D line drawn vector graphics that were, at the time, state of the art. You'll even get to see the games notoriously difficult docking at a Coriolis starport. Yes that's what a Coriolis starport used to look like. Check it out via the link in the video description which will take you right to the start of the documentary. We mentioned a couple of weeks back that Frontier were planning an informal meetup in the Cambridge area near their offices in the UK. Tickets for the event went on sale this week with the proceeds being donated to the gaming charity Special Effect. There won't be any content reveals etc at what is predominantly a meet and greet but there will be prizes and competitions alongside a chance to meet the community team from Frontier as well as other commanders. Spaces are limited to 100 people and it takes place on the 10th of December so if you want to go get in there quick. You'll find the link to purchase the tickets as always in the description below. The Tuesday community highlight stream this week was presented by community managers Arthur Tolmy and Sally Morgan Moore. With December and patch 9 for Elite Dangerous Odyssey rapidly approaching Arthur took some time at the start of the stream to detail what to expect in the next few weeks and gave some hints at a timescale for it all. So what did we learn? Whilst we don't yet have a specific date we do know that patch 9 featuring the new combat centric SRV will be arriving in early December. Whilst the regular monthly patches that we've become accustomed to would normally feature a forum post development update the end of the year is going to feature a slightly different format. Arthur described the update as more quote showing than telling unquote. The team are planning a dedicated livestream to feature the new SRV and there will also be a later dedicated livestream in December featuring the new fleet carrier interiors and quote more unquote that will be arriving in 2022. We can also expect a forum post talking about the past year and detailing what to expect going forward when things start moving again in January 2022 after the Christmas break. As best we can determine then in December we have an SRV centric livestream followed by update 9 and the new SRV arriving in the game, a fleet carrier interior centric livestream with possibly more being revealed and a forum post detailing what to expect from the team and the game from January onwards. Obviously as soon as we have more details we'll let you know on this very channel so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. 
All in all an exciting end to the year is approaching. I particularly love what Operation Ida, the DSSA and the Fleet Carrier Owners Club have been up to. Community efforts like that just underline for me in thick black marker pen why I love this game so much. Brilliant stuff. What are you hoping to see from Frontier next month? Are you perhaps planning on going into the black with DSSA 134 or helping Operation Ida repair an entire station in 24 hours? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.